Okay, so this is for class number six. And uh, yeah, we didn't go outside, didn't do any activity, we went to the board a lot. So I'll just run through what we, you know, what all the stuff we covered. Class number six. And this was group one in class, group two at home, and of course the virtual kids. <clears throat> I spent some time going over the laptop, uh, on the laptop, sharing the screen and showing them um, the canvas and the new modules, the way the modules are set up, uh, and the new, new um, homepage. The modules are uh, now have all the wrap up and the bullet points uh, and the screenshots all in one area for each day. So I think that'll make it more convenient for you. That, that's really was it for the announcements. And then we, we spent a good, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes having the kids go over, uh, the students go over this page, just at the back of 1.1. And so um, I told them that I would kind of go over it in the wrap up and they worked together and, all right, so it says, where's the origin position on the graph, on this graph? And it's, it's the, uh, it was, well, th this is why it's confusing because normally it would be the sidewalk by, by the science lot. But because I didn't get the Wi-Fi, uh, it was the, I used the North Diamond. So to make it, make it really confusing. But let's just keep it, I guess, at the, the sidewalk, um, it's where you started. So it was a starting point for, for the group. And um, I guess let's make it the, the sidewalk uh, just south of the parking lot, of the science lot. Okay, and it is a point, yes, and the reason why that's confusing for kids is, uh, and I had, um, I had the group one do this, you line up and say, well, is the origin a line or is it a point? But you're only looking at you in particular, you're not looking at the whole class. So it is, the origin is always a point where you start. Now, not always where you start. It's, 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 if it's a group of things, like in this case, we're gonna do four trials, then you pick an origin and everything's in reference to that. Remember, we, had, we said to be motionless, you have to have something to refer yourself to. So um, that's why we, we have an origin here and we, we're gonna make it the sidewalk south of the parking lot. And the straightness, the uniform, the four lines, it's uniform motion. And I, I'm gonna post a key to this uh, probably, I mean, I may post it tonight if I remember. I got other things to do, but if I can get this thing posted tonight. So I'll have a, I'm not sure whether I'll post the keys on the Facebook group or whether I'll post the keys. I, I would post the keys in the canvas, but I'm a little concerned with uh, losing space. I don't know if I'll have enough space because keys, you know, those are all, those take up room. So I'll see which way I'm going to go, but I'm going to eventually post a key to this there tomorrow. Since the vertical axis is position, I'm reading number three, the vertical axis is position, the horizontal axis is time. What are the two most common? And so we talked about that today. It's velocity or speed. And velocity is a $10 word. And speed is a 10 cent word. So speed's not near as good as velocity, but we'll talk about the difference more tomorrow in class. Use your graph to determine your position, your X position 10 seconds into your trial. Well, that's whatever, that's, that, that's from your graph. So we look at 10 seconds, uh, the first trial, let's go back and find that. Let's see, here's, there it is. So if, if I was looking at my first trial, which is this kind of pinkish one, uh, 10 seconds into my first trial puts me right here. Uh, better go a different color. Let's go just black. So right here uh, at 10 seconds. So I'm at, it looks like about the 12 meter mark. Okay. And then it asks, uh, where are you, 
We use your graph to determine this is the 12 meter mark. It says use your graph to determine your position, your X position five seconds into your second trial. So we go over here, just, just you know, using the graph. So five seconds into your second trial, we are right. Come over five seconds, second trial is green. Looks like we're right there. And that's at the 38 meter uh, position, 38 meter position. All right, so 38 meters, and this is all relative to the origin. Uh, use your graph to determine your X position four seconds into your third trial. Okay, so you get the idea. Four seconds into my third trial. My third trial was, in this case, was my blue one, and it said four seconds? I don't know, looking too well here. Yeah, four seconds. Okay, so wow, four seconds. That's right there. Looks like I'm at 12. 12, 14, so about uh, close to 14 meter mark. Um, I'm gonna say 13 meter mark, okay? So that's 13 meters. So that's how you do it. These are all relative to the origin. And then we did, went over this in class to the general uh, algebra one, it would be, um, would be y of x, equals mx plus b. Remember this from algebra one, it means y as a function of x is m being the slope times x plus the y-intercept. Well, in physics, this is our red equation, and we say that x of as a function of time is equal to v times t plus x naught. Now, when you're working a problem, let me show you this. When you're working a problem, uh, you're trying to figure out a graph, an equation that goes to the graph. You go to, there's that same equation. But everything, you keep everything the same. But all you're going to do is you're going to put the slope with units in the red box. So slope with units in the red box. Sorry, in the yellow box here. And then you're going to put the initial position relative to the origin uh, with units in the this other yellow box so all of these equations that that you do uh for red equations anyway you just worry about those two yellow boxes you leave everything else alone you don't you, know, you leave it as x of t equals whatever goes there times t this has to be an equation plus x naught okay and then you're supposed to go through and write the equations for the three trials the four trials well we already did we have those equations right here. We wrote those right there on the graph. So you just got to transfer those over to number six. And then I made an executive decision. Uh, first hour, we started messing with number seven, and that got confusing because I had changed where the origin was and because we had to go to the, the whole diamond thing in the building versus because Wi-Fi. So we just skipped number seven. Now, number eight, so just mark number seven out. Number eight, uh, we may uh, do that tomorrow if the weather's okay. Or we may not, I don't know. May have to skip it. All right, so this shows that same thing I was showing with the, with the algebra one versus physics. And a couple of examples. I'll put this as a screenshot. I'll add all these in as a screenshot. There's that one. And now the class went to the board and I had them work a couple of problems. And when you go to the board, I would like you to make sure that uh, you do put the lid back on those dry erase markers. These, these cost us about a dollar each. So I'm not running a cantina, uh, it looks like for now. So I don't have any money. <laughs> uh, the reason why we run the cantina, one of the reasons is because we make uh, any profit we get goes right back into the classroom. It goes to buy dry erase markers and all this kind of stuff. Well, this year with COVID, I'm not running the cantina, so uh, so far anyway. So I am pure broke as far as uh, that goes. All right, so just make sure we don't waste these. Now, I know there's a germ issue, uh, but I had uh, group one use a new one each time for each person and then I took them at the end of the day and I put them into the UV a UV uh, bath so uh, all in this UV light so I put that on for like 10 minutes 
And so hopefully tomorrow morning everything's clean and then we can use them again. So I'm gonna clean them at the end of the day. Now, here's the thing we had to do. We, I sent them to the boards and their job was to graph, sketch these two equations from zero to 10 seconds. So um, we went through all the, we talked about it like, you know, when you're gonna plot this, you don't need to give me every number, like some students go up and they do this kind of thing. And that's, that's fine, I get it, but it's not, it's not necessary. You don't need to be, this is a sketch, and you're just kind of wasting Expo marker and you're wasting your time. So don't give me all this, uh, don't give me all this kind of detail, not necessary for a sketch, okay? And uh, also I have students that go up and this is them trying to draw a line and they do the old T graph, right? And they, they plug in the X, they plug in the, or the, in this case, X and T, and they get these points, they finally connect them up and they get a line. Well, look, how many points do you need to make a line? You only need two. So, so all of these are a waste of time. You don't need all of these. You're not really, it's just, it's an equation. If we're actually collecting data, then we do that. But if we already have the equation, there's no reason to keep wasting your time doing this because it's all theoretically, it should all line up. All right, so back to our, um, all we got to do now is remember this, and this is something they had to figure out on their own, but I can't really sit there and watch you. So uh, let's just kind of go over it here. So it's never as good watching a video later. I don't care what administration says, you cannot replicate what happens in the classroom. So this, these are my velocities, which, okay, so this is blue. So this is my, velo oops, sorry. This is my velocity, which is, which is basically the slope. So that's here, that's that, and then therefore that one, there's the velocity of the slope. And this is this other one. If all you're doing is sitting and kind of starting to zone out and watch this thing, you're messing up. You should be trying on your own sketch paper. You should be trying to plot this, okay? If you just wait for the answer, I don't understand why you would do that because you're wasting the time. You've got to actually try this. So this is the, this is the uh, X naught, the initial, X naught, now I had a student asking me today, why that little zero there? That just means, where are you at zero time? That's your X naught. Where, where did you begin in this, for this uh, equation? So my initial position here is six feet, and here my initial position is 40 feet. Okay, so no, also make note that this is a negative. So that's gonna make it a negative slope. All right, you're know, plotting this from zero to 10 seconds and uh, pause it and plot it, okay? Pausing, 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 okay, plotting, plotting. Okay, let's assume now that you have plotted it. So now let me reveal the answer. This was second hour from last year. Sorry, it's a little skinny, but, but um, so notice, I only put, I put the initial positions, which is a 40 feet for the red, I'll make this one the red, and then six feet for the blue line. Um, I was like, the initial positions, then I have the final positions, I only need two points. Well, to get the final position for the red, uh, I plugged in 10 seconds for the T, it gave me negative 80, and negative eight times 10, plus 40 is negative 40, so it puts me down there. I have two points, I connect them up. Same thing up here, I put in 10 for the time, it gives me 50, plus six, 56, and there you go. So that's, so really I only put on here, I put one, two, three, four, five. I needed five numbers to plot both functions, all right? Now the next thing we did was Okay, so I sent them to the board, and I went back to the board, and um, I said, okay, 
Now I'm going to give you, we're going to do this backwards. I'm going to give you the uh, functions, the graph, and you got to write the equations. So whenever we go to the board, yes, you're working on it on your own, at least when we're in groups. Uh, when we're all together, we'll be in groups of two or three, but uh, when we're separated like this, you'll have your own expo. And you're kind of responsible for doing it yourself, but it doesn't mean you can't talk to other people. All right, so you're looking at this and you're trying to figure out, well, I need, what I need is it's gonna be in that same, it's gonna be in the same uh, format. It's going to be uh, X, you don't need to say the of T every time, X equals VT plus X naught. So all we're trying to find is the, we're trying to find the velocity and we're trying to find the initial position, okay? So this, of course, is the slope, which is the velocity. And this, of course, is the initial position. Or in Mal algebra, you call it the y-intercept, initial position. Okay, so you gotta kinda guesstimate, it's a sketch. It looks like that obviously is 10 for the green one. And then, may I don't know, seven maybe for that one? So, and then the last one ends up at 30 at 10 seconds, at 10 minutes now, watch out, it's minutes, not seconds. And then this guy starts at 10, looks like he ends up about negative 40, approximately at about 10 minutes. So now you pause it again, pause, okay, pause. You pause it again and uh, try to come up with the equations just on your notebook paper. So, if we keep this alternate schedule up, you're going to have to be, when you're at home, I know the temptation is to just kind of sit around and wait till you go back to school, but that's going to kill you. I'm going to have to expect that you did this because I cannot afford to go at half speed. I'm already a good three or four days behind. So you're going to have to come in, uh, this is talking to group two now, you're going to have to come in tomorrow uh, already having this under your belt so we can keep moving. All right. All right. So you did it. Now we let's unveil the answer and that's what you should have. So there's my slope for which one is this? This is the blue line. So I will mark that in blue. So here's the slope for the blue or the equation for the blue. Looks like the slope's about three feet per minute. And the way I knew that was, I just took rise of a run. Well, I rose, um, it looks like around 30, and uh, maybe 30, I guess I'm saying it was 35 or something. I'm being pretty generous here. But it looks like about, I don't want to drop that down a little bit. I don't think it's three. I just realize this. That looks more like, I don't know, 2.8 or something, 2.8, 2.7. So three seems a little steep for the blue. Um, when I started at six feet, I said seven feet. So whatever, six, seven feet, it's a sketch. And then for the other one, for the green, um, I started at 10 feet and I dropped 50 feet in 10 seconds. That's pretty obvious that that'd be, that's, that's correct. It's negative five feet per minute. And you watch your units. You have to have your units here. You have to have feet per minute, feet per minute, and you have to have feet. That's the main the mistake that group one was making today at the board. Okay, so we did that. And then what else? What was next? Oh, I showed them some examples of, and I'll put these screenshots on there for tonight. I showed them some examples of other, other, uh, other, you know, equations and graphs. Okay, and then uh, we ended up with a to-do list here. And here's what you need to have done by tomorrow. Uh, definitely submit your exit, your exit quiz number four. That was from last week. There will be an exit quiz five. That'll be, you'll be given that tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be a little tougher than the other exit quizzes. I'm warning you right now. Um, and then join the physics group. We have 67 members right now. I want to get up to 100. Uh, and then complete the front and back of sheet 1.2 and submit that by 9-11. No, that's for full credit. 9-11's Friday. That's full credit then. Uh, let me turn this off. So that's what's, let me stop my sharing here. So that's what's due. To, that's what's due. Well, it's due um, 
the only thing it's due tomorrow night is at midnight is uh, quiz num exit quiz number four. And the reason why I delayed exit quiz two and three is because of all the mix up. And I take about 50% of that blame because I was making duplicates and on the quizzes and then I got rid of some of the duplicates because kids, because all the duplicates were showing up on the kids to do this. So, oh shoot, I need to get rid of that. Well, when I did one particular duplicate, uh, it killed all the grades, not all the grades, killed some of the grades. So uh, I had to, uh, so some of you have to keep resubmit. And I apologize, it should never happen again. Never say never, but it should not happen again. It shouldn't be happening with quiz four. Quiz four should be fine. All right, so uh, I think that's it. I will have this available to you by hopefully six o'clock.